Alright everybody, so this is going to be the supplies that we need for our blood warming. And so we're going to need our tubing for the blood warmer. We're going to use um, our blood set so we can connect the gravity tubing. This is the kind that we have here. Um, use whatever you have at your facility, but at our facility this is what we use. You can also use the secondary tubing. Um, if you're on our unit and just connect it piggyback it on the primary tubing and we can still use that and then you need some kind of fluid um, so if your 250 bag of NS your liter bag of NS depending on how much product you're giving remember our blood tubing is good for four hours or two products so choose appropriately okay so we're gonna get everything set up so we've already gone through what we need um, so the first thing we're going to do is <clears throat> Prior to going and getting the blood, part of that process is making sure you have all your materials. So this part should be done before we go and get the blood. So we're getting our fluids that we need for the transfusion. And in this case, I'm going to be using the gravity tubing. But like I already said, you can use your primary tubing for this as well with your um, piggyback blood filter tubing. We're going to take this and we're going to be priming this entire tubing with saline. Remember that you shouldn't be using anything but saline as far as fluids to run your blood, especially not D5, because D5 will coagulate the blood, and then you get clots in your tubing, and then you can't give your product, and then you're basically wasting blood that should be going to your patient. So what I'm doing here is I'm just locking everything um, because whenever I spike this tubing, I don't want it to just flow right through. So now we will go ahead and spike. It doesn't matter which spike you use if you're using this gravity tubing. Um, so we're taking this out. Obviously, I would have gloves on. Um, it's just easier for me not to right now for the video. So we're going to hang here and we can kind of let this kind of fall. <clears throat> So we're hanging here, and what I'm going to do is leave this bottom lock locked. This one is locked as well, and I'm going to unlock this. And all this is going to do is to prime <clears throat> the filter portion. Remember, it's important to prime this these portions here just so that way whenever you prime the rest of the line, you're not getting any kind of air in. And so when we're priming both of these parts, we're basically priming this second section down here. So all we need to do is basically squeeze here and even that amount is a fine amount. So we're good to go. Um, now the next part is going to be getting our warming set. So when you pull this out, you're going to have two ends with one end is going to have a blue and the other is going to have red. So the blue is going to be where we connect our blood tubing to, and then this portion will connect to the patient. And you can always get like extension tubing and put extension tubing on here, just because this portion actually from the cassette to where the patient um, should get the blood is pretty short. So I recommend getting some extension tubing for that reason. But now what all we're going to do is we're going to take our set and we're going to actually put it in the machine. So all we need to do is come in here and go in. Now the biggest key I'd say for putting this cassette in is to not make sure there is no fluid in there before you put it in. If you prime this set uh, before putting it in, it's not going to fit because it's going to be filled with fluid. And if you take a look at your set itself, the fluid is basically going and the blood is going to run here and it'll be warmed by the machine and then it will go to the patient. So now what I'm going to do on this end is I'm going to go ahead and lock that end here and this one. And we'll go ahead and put this here on the side. I'm going to take my other end here and I'm going to lock here and Everything else here is locked, so I'm going to undo this cap, and we'll connect it to the blue end. So now everything is 
connected and set up at this point you can take your red end here like I said see this is it's, this is pretty short I mean if you have this next to your patient um, it will reach like if you have like a pick but if you want some extra slack add some extension to me and you'll be good to go so at this point I would say go get your blood um, do that whole process you come back you get your blood you're gonna verify and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we prime this entire set all of this from this end on is still full of air so now basically we're just going to unclamp and what I'm gonna do is unclamp here at the blue and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this upside down Make sure everything is unclamped that is a big important thing. We're gonna let it go. Air is going to be escaping, and we're gonna let this chamber fill, and then it's gonna go all the way to the end, and then we can clamp. And remember, this was always saline. Don't prime with the blood because if there happens to be air in there, you'd rather be wasting the saline than wasting the blood. So now at this point, this can go actually on the side in our little chamber and we're going to basically put this in here. Or sorry, upside down. <laughs> and now all we're gonna do is connect our blood here. We'll lock this end and then we'll connect our blood here, unlock, and then we can connect this to our patient and get our transfusion started. Last thing you want to make sure to do is make sure that this thing is on. The on switch is here on the side. You just flip that. There's one setting. It's going to go to 41 degrees Celsius. So now this is going to be warming up. As our patient gets the blood, it will be warmed. So, uh, and that's pretty much it. Again, remember your, your tubing is good for two products or four hours. And at this point, we can run our blood you can run it according to gravity here or you can pump it in if you're giving it very rapidly and that's pretty much it so that's how you set up your fluid warmer here